If there's one thing that I am sure, 100%, that you will see and visit in Prague, it is the famous astronomical clock. Many people come here, take a picture of it, look at it. Many are disappointed after the show that happens on every hour, but nobody can really read it. So today we're gonna try to explain to you how to read the astronomical clock in Prague. So hello and welcome to Prague. This is the Astronomical Clock Breakdown. Let's start off very simple. What time is it? Well, you may want to look up at the clock that is at the top of the tower, but if you look at it, you'll be confused because it actually is the other way around with the hands. So on that clock, the long hand shows the hour and the shorthand shows the minutes. We do that in Prague just to confuse people. The reason the hands are switched is because that's how they originally were back in the days. But the reason you clicked on this video is because you want to read time from the actual astronomical clock. Uh, so let's do it, but that ain't that easy because there are actually four different times on the clock and that's one of a kind of its machine on the world that actually does that. But let's start simple. So if you want to know what time it is right now, the time we use, you may want to follow the golden hand and the Roman numerals under it. So right now it's just past 12, so it'd be like 1220. So now you know how to read the civil time, but what are the other times? Well, the other one, interesting one, is old Bohemian time that is displayed by the Arabic numerals on the very outer circle, black circle, in gold. And they go from 1 to 24, and they show that a day starts at sunset. So 24 would be when there's sunset. Today's sunset is at 4 p.m., so when you look at the Roman numerals, the four should match with 24 on the Arabic numerals, which it does. Two other times that it shows is the star time displayed by the tiny little star on the left and the Babylon time, which is displayed by the black Arabic numerals on the blue background. We ourselves were trying to figure uh, out how to explain it to you, but we didn't really get it, proving that 600 years ago people were smarter than the two of us. But we promise one day we'll get someone to properly uh, explain what those mean. But there's other super cool things that you can read and will understand from the astronomical clock. I mentioned the blue background. Well, notice that part of it, uh, part of the background is blue, part of it is red, and then part is black. Well, those colors represent day is blue, red is dawn and dusk, and black is night. But notice the sun, and the sun will tell you, based on where it is, if it's day or night. I mean, you can tell if it's light out or not, but it will show you also if it's winter or summer, because in the summer, the days are longer, and the sun actually moves on that little hand. So right now it's down, so it will spend shorter time in the day part and longer in the night part, but then in the summer, the sun moves up on the hand, so most of the time it's rotating, it spends in the blue part because it's day. Did that make any sense? And now, listen up, the minute the sun hits the border between the blue and the red is when there's sunset and sunrise, and the red part, when it's in the red part, it's dusk and dawn. Hans up behind the camera goes like, nice one. And that's not it. See the other part of the astronomical clock will actually tell you if it's gonna rain or shine tomorrow, I'm just kidding. The other part, not only the sun, but also the moon is displayed on the astronomical clock. You can see it, it's that little black ball and it actually rotates to show you what face the moon is in. And then there's the inner circle with the zodiac signs or symbols that shows you what month we're in and also the whole thing rotates to show you what sky the position is uh, to the earth. We're discussing this with Honza and we will try to look for it and if there is none, we will try to make a time lapse, but a, like a full year time lapse of the astronomical clock because when you think how many things are moving in there, it is mind blowing. And keep in mind that some of the parts that are in the astronomical clock are more than 600 years old and they're using the original parts, which is crazy. All right, let's move a step down to the calendar board, which shows you what day it is in the year. It is divided into 
365 little boxes that not only include what day it is in the year, it also includes a name because we do have name days in Czech Republic. And there is also this weird thing, which is a, a poem or a saying or a lullaby that is divided into 365 uh, syllables. Uh, and it's a memotechnic um, feature that you can sing or read to remember which saint has a name day on the day. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but if you memorize the lullaby, then you know like, oh, so 24th of June is Yannick and Honza's name day. How is that possible when they have different names? Well, they're actually both named Jan. <laughs> I'll read you part of the poem or the saying for December. Po sněhu bára s Mikulášem šla v noci Lucka len předla. So then you know which name day is for Mikuláš and later based on the syllables when Lucka has her name day. And Americans are like, what? I mean, everybody's probably like, what? <laughs> And then once again, there are the zodiac symbols or signs. And in the middle is the uh, symbol of Prague, which is the only part of it that does not rotate. And if you are watching Honest Guide frequently, if you are a subscriber, you already know that this is only a replica. The original uh, of the calendar board is actually hidden in a Prague City Museum. And you can get much closer to it. So you can actually read the names and everything that's on it. Most of the crowds, most of the people gather under the astronomical clock every hour to see the apostles in the blue windows appear. But that is not the real show. The real show happens below it throughout the entire year. And when you learn that, and I hope you did from today's video, you will admire it and appreciate it much more. Because fun fact, people, when they usually watch the apostles here and when the show, show ends, they go, that's it. Yeah, that's it, once again the show happens below it. And by the way, you can actually go on a tour that will let you see the astronomical clock, the Apostles, from the back. And we're actually lucky because they're about to go through the windows right now. and now they can rest for another hour. Believe it or not, but there are actually disputes and debates of who the real authors of the astronomical clock were. Uh, but one of them mentioned, or the later author, Mr. Hanush, uh, there's a myth that his eyes were poked out so he couldn't rebuild such a beautiful masterpiece. Well, that didn't really work out because they built exactly the same thing in Korea and Hanza was there. Of course, it's not exactly the same. After learning about the astronomical clock, I will never look at it the same way. It is amazing and I will never look at a picture the same way of the astronomical clock because I will always try to read when the picture was taken, what date, what hour, what minute. And we actually have a challenge for you. We're going to show you a picture, you can take a look at it, and if you can figure out what day and what hour it was taken and write it in the comments below, whoever gets the closest to the exact date we'll send you our book signed. So that's a challenge for you. So that was our first episode of 2021. Partially why we're doing this is because you can't really still travel to the Czech Republic. So we wanted to show you something that people usually travel for. I really hope 2021 will be a better year and that you will be able to travel to Prague and the two of us with Honza will be able to travel to your city. Uh, so let's, let's hope. That is it from Old Town Square from Honza and Yannick, the Honest Guides. If you subscribe to our channel, we'll be more than happy. Thanks to everyone who's supporting us on Patreon. If you want to do so, you can as well. And we'll see you next week on another episode of The Honest Guide. I'm gonna go read the clock. And the check word at the end is Orloi, which is astronomical clock, Orloi. That's what we're gonna call it from now on, never using astronomical clock again. <laughs>